Hello and welcome. Cynic Virus here. Um, jumping in with something a bit different and new. Um, called Wingspan. Uh, it looked interesting. So naturally I added it to my wish list. It's been on sale for the last week or so. I think today we or tomorrow is the last day it's on sale, twenty percent off. Um it's basically like a card strategy game with birds that you need to build the best wildlife sanctuary or something along those lines. I've not read a whole lot into it and I've not seen any gameplay for it. So we're going into this completely blind and fresh. So yeah, let's jump in. Guess we start with a tutorial. Let's see, hopefully it's Oh, another bird enthusiast. You're new to Wingspan. I'll show you around. I'm Robin, by the way. Hi, Robin. I'm a guardian of this wildlife preserve. As you probably noticed, this place is all about birds, but also about winning. To win the game, you have to get the most victory points. One way to do that is by playing birds. Makes sense? Before we start, you should get familiar with the structure of the game. This is the start your turn pop up. Wingspan is played over four rounds. Right now it's your first turn of the first round. In the first round you take eight turns. Each turn is marked by a blue action cube. Each round you have one fewer cube and so one fewer turns to take. On the right side of your screen you can see how many turns you have left in this round. Oh, you can't see that. I need to work out where it's best to put the camera. And those are end of round gold tiles, but I don't worry about them right now. Okay, but you can see those. Now I will show you what you can do each turn. Click anywhere to continue. <gasps> Clicking anywhere. Haha. <laughs> First, you need to know how to navigate the habitats of your preserve. Look at the left side of the screen. Those are the habitats. We are in the forest now. Okay. In the forest, you can gain food for your birds. Now, check out what you can do in grassland. Just click that icon. Oh, hi. In grassland, you can lay eggs. Eggs are useful for playing birds. You also score one feather for each egg you have left in your preserve at the end of the game. Lay eggs on birds, then brown powers in this habitat will activate. Now check out the wetlands. Just click the water icon. This is where you draw more bird cards. Draw bird cards, then brown powers in this habitat will activate. But now you have some cards in your player setup. Now let me show you the most important part of this game. Birds. These are the birds in your hand. Look closely at the structure at the structure of the Carolina Chickadee card. Carolina Chickadee or Foresty uh, looks like he likes worms. You can't see as you can. I guess that's what it eats. Corns or seeds. Two points. When activated, gain one, I guess, food from the supply and cash it on this card. Oh. Here you have the habitat symbols which show where the bird can be played. The Caroline Chickadee, for example, can only be played in the forest. Here are his food costs. A worm or a wheat. This means that in order to play Carolina Chickadee, you need to spend either a seed or an invertebrate. Seed or invertebrate. The number next to the feather symbol is the bird's points value. Having this bird in your preserve gives you this many points at the end of the game. Here is Carolina Chickadee's nest icon. Okay. There are five types of nests. Caroline Chickadee has a, mm -mm, a cavity nest. The other nest types are platform, ground, 
bowl and wild. Nests are used by some birds' powers, bonus cards, and the end of round rolls. I'll explain details later on how these are used. Star nests can be powerful because they can match with any other nest types. Try to remember that. Here is the bird's wingspan. Wingspan is used by some birds' powers and bonus cards. You'll notice when you need them. Here is the most important thing, the bird's special power. As you play the game, you'll see that birds have a wide variety of powers. There are three types of powers, when activated, when played, and once between turns. Caroline Chickadee has a when activated power. I'll explain all three types during our playthrough. Finally, at the bottom of the card you have egg slots. This is where you lay eggs. Each bird has a limited capacity for holding eggs. Now I'll teach you how to play a bird. Go into the forest so you can gain food for the Carolina Chickadee. First you need to gain food for your bird. The panel on your right shows how much food you have currently. How much food you have currently you have no food. What is that? Oh, it looks like a fish. I don't know what that is. Oh, a mouse! <laughs> and I guess berries. Play the Carolina Chickadee. You need a wormy or a seed. We're calling them wormies instead of invertebrates. Look at the bird feeder. I've got two berries, an either or, and two seeds. The die shows which food is currently available. Inside the bird feeder are what I just said. The leftmost exposed slot says how many food you can take. One. And now I can only take one. In order to gain food, you need to activate this habitat. The leftmost exposed slots will activate a habitat. Click on it. Do you remember the blue? Blue will appear to mark your first turn. Oh, I see. Okay. This marks the activated slot. It's moved from your action panel to mark the leftmost exposed slot in there. On the left side of the forest icon reminds you that you activated the gain of food. Okay. Choose what you want, click on the dice you need. Click on the seed in the bottom panel. By clicking the arrow, you confirm your action. Can you see the back symbol on that? It means the action you're about to do can't be undone. Anytime you see that, think twice before you act. When you click on the duh, you'll go back to the tenth panel. Okay. You need C to play the Caroline Chickadee. Please confirm your choice by clicking. That was your first turn of Wingspan. That was long winded. So let's start the second one. That's it. I literally. I didn't play him. Your cue from the first turn flew to the left and marked that you took the gain food action. Okay. Now have enough food to play the Caroline Chickadee. Remember, Caroline Chickadee food cost says that it needs a worm or a seed. To play a bird, you need to cover its food cost. Which means you need to pay for it. Play the Caroline Chickadee by clicking on it. He chirps. Cube has moved beneath the picture of the Carolina Chickadee now. Again, marking your turn. Okay. On the left side, the wind icon reminds you that you chose play a bird action. Okay. Look at this panel. This is the cost of the bird you want to play, the same one printed on the card, and this is suggested payment. So if you had more food, you could change the type of food spent to play this card, but we won't do this. 
Picking confirms. Remember, can't be undone. Bird has been fed, and now we get the next turn. So this is flown over here. Sure. Blue Jay is the next bird you'll want to play, but before you can do that, you'll need to collect food to pay for it. What does the Blue Jay want? It wants a multicolored pie and a seed. Okay, the multicolored pie. In the food cost with any food item. The plus means you need to spend a seed and any food you choose. Uh, so I need two foods. Look again at the bird feeder. Inside are seeds, wormy seeds, and two berries. I do remember how to gain food. Your gain food action improved. Click on the leftmost exposed slot. This is the second slot because the first slot is occupied by the Carolina Chickadee. You will get one food, but you can get more. Activating the second slot of this habitat means that you can take one food from the bird feeder. And the card into dice in the slot means if you want, you can discard one card from your hand for one more. Okay. To play the Blue Jay, you need to seed in any food item. Take the die seed. Well, why don't we just take the seed? Now click on that to exchange one card from your hand for one more. I want a bald eagle that takes two fish and a mouse. It's worth nine points. When played, gain all the fish. What does a blue jay give us? Oh, I see we do that because of his bonus. Is this? Sorry, Bald Eagle. Car confirm the exchange. Now I can take one more food. Choose from the bird feed though. Before you do that, look here. Those are the dice outside the bird feeder. There are five total. Each dice that is taken is marked out here. While playing, you may encounter birds that use this information. Dun, dun, dun. Now, take the seed and then confirm your action. Click the thing. Wait, no, I don't want the seed. I want this. No, because I gained one of that. Don't you know what this bird does? Can you read what it said? You don't know what this hard look? Just gain one from the bird feeder if available. Well, you're the boss. So the square has moved to the Carolina Chickadee slot. Uh huh? Always moves to the left and oh, it always moves to the left and activates all birds with uh, when activated power. So you activated forest and gain food, but it's not the end of your turn. Since the block is now on Carolina Chickadee, it's time to activate it this turn. When activated powers are the most common in the game. All birds with a when activated power give you an extra action each time you activate the habitat that bird inhabits. All of your bird powers are optional, this means that you don't have to activate them if you don't want to. A main ability. We won't skip this power however, I'll show you how it works. Every time you gain food, Caroline Chickadee gains a seed. The chickadee is not taking the seed from the bird feeder, it just found it somewhere else. Aren't you resourceful, Chickadee? Click the tick and confirm using this power. Okay, now five. 
us is anything. Last turn you cash food on the Caroline Chickadee. Every cash food is worth. Oh, it just keeps it, right? I can't use it. Cash food is worth one point. The amount of food a bird has cashed is marked on the bird card here. I guess they would have share food. Let's quickly sum up what gives you points. You get points for played birds, laid eggs, cashed food. Yes, I remember how you told me that I need to lay eggs to play birds. You spend egg to play birds starting from the second slot. Look at these slots, see the egg symbol on top of them. They indicate how many eggs you need to spend in order to play a bird in this slot. This cost is in addition to the bird's food cost. What? If you want to play the blue jay in the forest, you need an egg. Go to the grasslands. In the grasslands, you will get eggs to lay on the birds of your choice. The leftmost slot will activate a habitat. Click on it. Now you have to choose where you want to lay your eggs. When you perform the action, when you perform any of the four actions, playing a bird, gaining food, laying eggs, or drawing cards, you can switch between habitats. You need to find birds to lay eggs on, so let's go back to the forest. See the icon on the panel shows grassland, means that you activated the laying eggs action in the grassland. So now there is only one bird you can lay eggs on, the Caroline Chickadee, so lay two. Click on birds to lay eggs. Choose which bird to lay eggs on, simply click on the bird. Lay two eggs and confirm. Okay. Wow, man, we use a lot of turns to get not very far. Now you have everything you need to play the, the Blue Jay. Click on the blue jay and confirm the food payment visible on the panel. Okay, blue jay. Hey, we haven't got a choice, so. Okay, you want to play a bird on the second slot, so you need to pay egg. This new panel shows that you need to find a selected bird with a laid egg. Select the Carolina Chickadee's egg by clicking on it. Now, do this. Hey, we've got two birds. Nice, you have two birds played now, and so your gain food action has become even stronger. You can now take two dice from the bird feeder when you activate this habitat. To attract more birds, you need more cards. Draw cards, go to the water. Here you can draw more. The leftmost habitat slot will activate habitat. Click on the leftmost exposed slot. Anytime you draw, you can choose whether you want to draw one of the visible face up cards or a face down. The back reminds you can't undo it. But now, for the sake of learning, I'll ask you to draw the kill deer. Dun, dun, dun. Draw the kill deer by clicking on it and confirming your action. Okay. We drew one card with one turn. Remember how to gain food, right? Meet me in the forest to gain food for your kill deer. If you play two birds in this habitat, you can now gain two food. You need a seed or a worm to play the kill deer. Yes, I do. The leftmost exposed slot will activate our habitat. Can you see two birds with brown powers? Yes. 
That means you will do three activations this turn. Gain food, activate the Blue Jay's power, and activate the Chickadee's power. Okay, right. After you gain food, I'll go to the Blue Jay, activate it. After that, the Caroline Chickadee will be activated. All of this only using one cube. But the food you need isn't in the bird feeder. Don't worry, right now you can reset the bird feeder. Resetting means taking all the dice inside and outside the bird feeder and re-rolling. You can re-roll any time all in the bird's feeder to show the same face. Oh, uh, okay. You can reset the bird feeder by clicking the bird feeder. But remember, you can't undo this action. Great, remember that when there's only one in the bird feeder, you can also re-roll all of them. Duh, because they're the same. When all the dice are taken out of the bird feeder, they will be re-rolled automatically at the end of turn. Now please take a worm and a berry and accept your choice. Accept your choice. Blue Jay's power is similar to the Caroline Chickadees, it can cash food. The Blue Jay's power lets you choose between cashing or taking it for yourself. Okay. And unlike the chickadee, the Blue Jay takes directly for the bird feeder. So when there's no seeds, you can't use it. Fortunately, there's plenty of seeds in the bird feeder. He can choose the die you want to take in order to cash it for yourself. You can also skip it. For now, take the seed, it will come in handy later. Take seed, confirm. Now the chickadee. Yes. Last turn. Before you finish, however, let me show you your opponent. This is your opponent. Cat in a hat. This is you. Oh, no, no. You can take a look at their habitats. Take a peek at the opponent's habitat, you need to click on their portrait. To click on the opponent's portrait. This guy has a predator, it's a barred owl. Look at a card from the deck if it is greater than 75 centimeters, tuck it behind this bird, if not, discard it. Bud Owl will hunt each time your opponent activates this bird. If it succeeds, the bird card will be tucked under this predator. Every tucked card is worth one. Ooh, that's good. It only cost a mouse. Uh, later we'll try and use this power for our benefit. What if we eat the owl? Do we get the bonus stuff? Alright, let's go back to your preserve and finish first rounds. Just click on me. Now we have enough food to play our kill deer. Look at the habitats that kill deer can be played in. It can be played in the grass or the water. So we don't get to choose. You tell me. Remember how you played birds before? First, click on the kill deer card. Confirm food costs. Boom. This is your first round. These are the end of round goals. A bird in the woodlands. Uh, a bowl nest bird with an egg. An egg in the grassland. Each round has a randomly chosen task you can fulfill to gain extra points. Oh, I see. If you don't meet any requirements at all, you get zero. If you and your opponent tie, the points for those places are divided by the number of players and rounded down. To learn what each round goal means, hover over your cursor above the tile, then click confirm to start the second round. Oh, there it is. Count the total number of birds with a specific nest type that have at least one egg. Each bird counts just once, regardless how many eggs it has. Star nest count towards its goal. 
Can't tell the number of eggs your birds have laid in the specific habitat row. Multiple eggs on one multiple eggs on one bird each cow. Can't tell the number of birds that you have laid. Okay. Let's summarize what we've learned. You took eight turns for the first round. You know how to play birds, gain food, lay eggs, and draw cards. It's getting warm. You know that you can score points for played birds, laid eggs, cached food, tucked cards, end of round goals. You also know that you have an opponent. Now I can show you more advanced stuff in the second round. The first turn of the second round. Remember that the second round has seven turns. I want to show you something important about drawing cards, but to do that you will need more eggs. Go to the grassland to lay two eggs. That's my stuff. Now find and choose bird or birds that you want to lay and cover. Can hold two. Oh, we want this for the bonus, though. Confirm. Let's go. Oh, you've laid some eggs. Oh, the cards in the water have changed. After each round, all the face-up cards will be replaced by new ones. Remember, if you want a specific card and the round is coming to an end, you'll lose the opportunity to draw what you wanted in the next round. Because you have a kill deer that covered the first slot, you can activate water and use the egg to card exchange from the second slot. Let's make use of this exchange. The leftmost exposed slot will activate our habitats. Egg for card. Well, we'll take it from you. Now choose two face up and accept your decision. <laughs> accept your fate. Okay. What have we got? We've got a barn swallow that costs a worm. Worth one point. When it's activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird if you do draw a card. Okay. A snowy egret. Oh, it does have this symbol though. Where can I find the end of round stuff? Oh, uh, okay. Fine. Snowy Egret's worth four points. It needs a fish or a worm. Got a flat nest. Roll all dice. Not in the bird feeder. If any are fish, gain one fish and catch it on this card. See, that sounds good. Bell zero. Cost two worms. Also four. When played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Um, I think we should take this one. This one. Now, activate the kill deer. Oh, discard an egg to draw two cards. Choose between the habitats to find another bird with an egg laid on it so you can spend it for two additional. I don't have any others. Oh, it assumed I was on the kill deer. Sure. Well, that works. Huh. 
don't know how to chat when you click on this. Take the last face up card. Bobby noticed new face ups haven't been replaced yet. They will be replaced when you finish this turn. Look at the face down card with if you draw a face down card you'll be able to undo it. Ooh, a vulture. Oh, he's played a morning dove. The left face, face up will activate a habitat. Take the worry. Uh oh, well, that didn't turn out well. There's no worms for your bells, Vero. But there's a way. Whenever you play a bird, you can spend any two food items as if they were one of another food. Take whichever food item you want and confirm your decision. Well, I'll just play the snow thing. Now, take the seed from the blue jay. Then cash the chickadee. Play the bells, Vero. You need an egg. Oh, I don't want to use my eggs anymore. I need this for bonus. Play the bells, Vero. In the forest, you need egg. You don't have birds in grassland, and the first lot is empty. That means you don't have to pay an extra egg to play the bird, so we'll buy it in the grasslands. That makes sense. Play this bad boy. Notice the exclamation mark next to your food payment. Means that the food you have doesn't match the bird's food cost. We can still confirm this payment because of the two, any two equals one rule. Okay. I'm glad I didn't use my fish. These are bonus cards. You can keep one of them, but you have to discard the other. You'll gain more points at the end of the game if you fulfill the requirements specified on the bonus card. It's no punishment for failing to do it. Look at the nest box builder. This is where nests come in handy. To have a better view of your cards while choosing bonus, you can hide this interface. Just click on the arrow at the bottom center of the screen. You can move to other habitats to help decide which is better for you. Go to the forest. Okay, right. We will play the black vulture in the forest later, so I would advise taking the forest the bonus card. Okay, so Nest box builders, birds with those. We've already got one of those. Four to five birds. Choose by clicking on the confirm you want to make it same. Birds that can only live in the forest. Now look at the black vulture. Once between turns, when another player's predator succeeds, gain one dice from the bird feeder. It has a once between turns power. You can activate a once between turn power only when your opponent does something specified in the power's description. It can be activated only once between each of your consecutive turns. Now look at the black vulture's food costs. 
means that there's no food cost to cover. Oh, you have enough eggs, you can play the black vulture in the forest. I only have one egg, don't I? You don't have eggs. You don't have eggs. I need that egg. Now that you've played your Black Vulture, you can make use of your opponent's successful hunt. Your opponent gained food and activated their Bard Owl. Choose from the Bird Feeder. There's no cube on the panel because this power is a once between this turn. The hunt was successful, so now you take one from the bird feeder. Cool. Whoa. I might as well re-roll. What do I want? I have a fish. I need a worm. That's not useful. I shouldn't have done that. Oops. Well, let's gain. I guess the fish. I want to show you one last thing before you finish the tutorial. So go to the grasslands. The leftmost will activate your habitat. You want me to click on this? You can now spend one food that you have to lay one additional egg. When you do this, confirm your decision. Okay, we can use this. Oh wait, do it? Yeah, that's fine. Now lay three eggs on the bird you want and then confirm your action. Okay, so let's put one on here, because this is at any. You are any. You're not. The bowl. I want eggs in grassland, don't I? Something else might come up. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to have to spend eggs, so. So one turn is round, but I think I've taught you all I know. Let's sum up what you can do. In your turn, play birds, game food, lay eggs, draw cards. During your playthrough, you can check the current end of round goal score and overall score. You can see that. Maybe I need to move this up a bit. Check your score, click on the end of round goals in the upper right corner of the screen. First, you can see how many points you and your opponent already scored in the end of round goals. At the bottom, you have points for birds, bonus cards, end of round goals, eggs, cashed food, topped cards. This is your current total score. If you're not sure what certain button or symbol means, you can click on the question mark in the left corner the screen and go to disable the explanation and just click it again. Okay. 
There's one final thing you can do anytime you can access a general overview of your habitats. Press the tab key. Ah, okay. The overview displays all your habitats and birds. You can also see which birds are available to you in the wetland and what food is currently inside the bird feeder. That is most useful. Tab again to close. You can finish the remaining rounds now if you want. I hope you will successfully attract many birds to your habitats. Good luck playing wingspan. Ah, uh, okay, so now what do I do? Snowy Ifrit, I want you in the water. Gonna cost me an egg. how I play this. It costs me a fish. I need to spend an egg. Did I put an extra one on here? He doesn't count. Snowy egret. In the 1880s, these birds' wispy plumes were literally worth their weight in gold. Ooh. Give me an explanation. Cool. So it's in a round and we got five points for that next round is eggs in grassland sure you haven't got any round three or four I don't need do I need to, I don't need to draw cards do I do I play this card? Yes, I don't. Power barn, swallow, that needs a grub. Okay. Um. I have a spare fish. Ha! Oh, I can reroll, can't I? Wait, this gonna cost me two eggs. Can't do that. Eggs in barn. I guess I don't need this. That gets me two cards. This will get me three eggs. Oh, uh, I still need a grub, so I have to. I don't even have two eggs, do I? On, I do have two eggs. Ah. Ah. Oh, I can't even play it in this. Oh, I just click this. That's all, don't I? I don't want either of those. No, I don't think I want that, do I? Got a peregrine falcon. This would be good to have for this round. I need three seeds though, I don't have any. Red shouldered hawk. A look at a card from the deck. Oh, it's predator. As is the peregrine falcon. One. We got this. Don't 
That's cool. Wah wah, no fish this time. Don't want to discard an egg to draw two cards. Need that. Cassin the Sparrow. Play one egg on any bird. I like that. And it's grasslands. Um, and uh, oh, we were so close. We only got fish. It's not good. When activated, all players ate one egg on a thingy bird. You may lay a egg on an additional. What should we get rid of? Cost one. Decisions. It's only when activated. Chosen two seeds. I have a fish. Plus a seed and a worm. Okay, so if I play that, that costs me a seed. I'll gain another one. Or a seed and a worm. Let's take a worm. Take that. I do this. I think I need to do this. Do I want this? Let's play the Cassin Sparrow. Okay. Uh, how many eggs have I got left? 
don't have any, do I? Cassin Sparrow. Ornithologist John Cassin died from years of handling arsenic preserved birds. Let's gain Sweet, I think. Black Vulture. Two tens left. Let's re-roll because I don't need any fish. Take this. Oh, I have to choose which one. Yes, I'll take that. You've laid eggs. How are we doing in the school? I'm still good here. Okay. What do I want to do next? I have a mouse. Dice from the bird feeder. That's not a good idea. I can't play this. Oh, I need a berry. I need a worm. And a berry. Okay, so what if I play this? Again. Ruby crown kinglet. Kinglet's ruby red crown feathers pop up when they are agitated. So I just spent all my eggs. Pleated woodpecker. Other birds use these birds' old nests and glean bugs where they've been feeding. One turn left.
still have a mouse. So maybe I should get the hawk. Oh, but he can only be played in the forest. I don't know if I can play... I can, can I play another card? I don't think I can. I think the forest is full. Take that into consideration. Um, oh no I don't, I need eggs, I need eggs don't I, Ooh, I need eggs. Ah, we can't get the bird. The bird? The falcon. Come on, Black Vulture, give me something like... Oh, well. Oh, no, we tied. Ew. Now we need to put lots of birds out. Total birds. I got f five turns left. Okay, so we need cards. We've got four eggs. We've got no food. There's a wrong button. What we got here? You can be. Uh, cool. Brown pelican. A dark eyed junior. Okay, so we've got two birds there, and two there. We can take any of these. We can play this one. Bluebird, the pain bird in the same habitat pays normal costs. Okay, so we could maybe with this one. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a fish. Discard a card to draw. Just got an egg to draw. Yeah, we can do that. A ruddy duck. Draw two cards if you do discard one from your hand at the end of your turn. Um, just another random one. A ruby throated hummingbird. Oh, look at this. Anywhere and it can cost any food. When activated, each player gains one food from the bird feeder starting with the player of your choice. Cool. We want cheap birds. Give me a food. Oh, what do I want? I need... I do need food. So this costs a berry and a worm. And this is anything. So I'll take the berry. Um, oh, but this is as well, this is, this 
pieces of berry and a worm, which I have, and then I have one spare food, which I can play this with. Okay. Spend an egg. Birds struggle to breed where there is a lack of tree cavities. Nest boxes help. Cool. Then we can play this. Early two eggs. Ruby throated hummingbird. Hummingbirds feed on nectar, but they also eat many small insects. Black Vulture, give me a... What do I want? Oh, we can play a Ruddy Duck. Oh, we better take the Worm. What are we doing on the old point front? We've got three turns left. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. we got 11 birds, mate. We're steaming ahead, I think. I think. I don't know. Okay, three turns. I can play a ruddy duck here, but it's going to cost me eggs, so I need eggs. Oh yeah, Black Vulture, let's go. Oh wow, we got loads of mice. Two tens left. We have three bugs. You've laid eggs, have you? What have you got? Do you have a goose? Well, he's got, he's got a spotted toey. Greater Roadrunner. The Burrowing Owl. He's got a lot of eggs. He's got loads of eggs. For the Bard Owl, the Morning Dove, and the Cooper's Hawk. What's this? We want five birds in the forest, right? You've only got a mallard. Have I got five in the forest? I must have, yeah. Oh, Ruddy Duck's not worth any points. I don't want that. I want to play this. Because it's going to cost me one egg. Okay. Eastern Dude. Kingbird. The Kingbird displays its orange crown while defending its territory. One turn left. You've laid eggs. Okay, what do I get points for? Birds in habitat. Bonus cards. End of round goals. Laid eggs. Foods. So I probably want laid eggs because they're each worth a point. Like I can't play this. Food isn't worth anything, so I guess I'll lay eggs.
with your mouth. You can have an egg. Boom, you are crushed. He's got the bad points. Oh, nice. He has so many eggs. All right. I guess. All right, so that was the tutorial. And we got through our first game. Interesting. Just to preserve archive. Okay, so that's just our old game. Birds. Let's go all these birds. I guess they're only discovered when you play them. Oh my god, there's like millions of them. Okay, cool. Online. Player portrait. Ha! I know someone that would laugh at that. She's a background. <gasps> That's pretty. I like the house. What is this? This mode puts you up against Automa, but there's a catch, nothing is random. Okay, the more you'll be able to learn about the decks of the bird feet. Oh my god, there's like decks and stuff. Use this knowledge to anticipate what happens next. You create the most optimal combos from this week's Champions of the Bird. The challenge changes every week. If you manage to beat the Automa and your score is the highest end of the week, you will become that week's champion. Pick to start a three player game. You have five minutes to take your turn. A three player. I see. Okay. Why? Oh, my portrait colour's red. Ooh, it looks sick. Okay. Alright. Well, I don't really need that. So we can do play, right? Okay, two, okay. Custom game, two to five players. You can play with friends or AI. Automa? What is the Automa? Oh, I guess it's just to play against.
check. Okay, well, let's just play against the AI, I guess. Oh, one people, two people. Go. That's not my symbol, though. On your turn, you'll take one of... Okay, fine. Choose five things to keep among the bird cards and food. Oh, wow, okay. Birds with wingspans over 65 cents. Birds named after a person. S is in it. Okay, so we can take. Oh, and we get one bonus card. That was good. Zario, welcome. Yeah, we have literally just picked this up. We've just got through the tutorial and managed to surprisingly beat the tutorial opponents. So this is our first game. It's just against the AI. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting game. I quite like it. Hmm. Guess we should take a black vulture. These are all really expensive birds. That's eight points. Warbler. Oh, we could take a. We could take a borrowing owl. Um, do I want another food? A cat bird seems quite good. Oh, actually, let's have a look at what the girls are. Okay. Nest type. With at least an egg. Oh, that's going to be hard on the first round. Maybe we don't need Water beds and it's that nest type. Well, if it says water beds, maybe we'll take this. Okay. Oh, we didn't check our beds, we didn't expand, but okay. We'll work it out, it's fine. So, what food? doesn't cost me anything. Burrowing owl. These owls often use old prairie dog burrows for their underground nests. You have gained some food. You have got no birds. You have the same ones at the bottom as I do. Yes, you do? Yeah, you do. Interesting. Okay. So we could actually then play... Eggs on bowls. A lot of worms in the middle. You 
you've gained food, sure. You got a big wingspan? Yeah, you do. What about you? You must do. This needs a fish and a random. So really, I want some food, don't I? I also want eggs. In this one. Okay, let's gain food. I need fish. Good, I didn't get any fish. <laughs> I guess I'll take this. Well, I can't play it without a fish, so I might as well get rid of it. Do you want to get rid of it? To get extra food? I don't have anything to play with. Hang on. What is in the water? Worm, worm. Oh, jeez, man. These are all so expensive. It's double grain. Oh, fish. Got mice. Got mice. Okay, we'll get rid of you. I know you're a water bird. Maybe I don't want. Maybe I want to do some. Don't want this now. Can I go back? I do this. I don't think I can. Can I? Right, get rid of you. Get a grain. Lay a uh, two here. I want an extra egg. Mm, I'm probably better keeping the egg. Oh, no mice. Okay. Um. Oh, Zoria, thank you very much for the follow. You've drawn birds, have you? Okay, well, I need cards. Take a random card. Ah, oh, it's a oh, it's a mess and a worm. We've got a worm. That's good. And it's one of those. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So I need a mouse. So let's do this. Gain a mouse. Sweet. Now we can play this guy. Do you want to play him in the water? Probably do, don't we? The loggerhead shriek. Shrike. Whenever another player takes the gain food action, if they gain any number of mice, they also gain one mice from the supply cache cache on this card. That seems a good early card. Loggerhead Shrike. 
Shrikes impale their prey on thorns or barbed wire and may save them for later. Oh, lovely. Click to start. One turn left. Okay, so are we winning this? We are at the moment. So I think we don't want any of those anyway. We have a food so we can get an extra egg. So maybe it's worth stocking up on eggs. Because we don't know what we need. Uh, sure. Eggs. Discard this and we'll lay an extra egg on. You can have one too, Mr. Vulture. Oh, no mouse. When another player takes the gain of food action, if they gain any number of mice, also get a mouse from the spike cash and cash it on this card. Yeah boy, we got ourselves. Got ourselves an extra point. Yes! Boom! Taking that first round. And we did want it in the water as well. We didn't look at this, did we? Oops. Round two, we want water birds. An American overcatcher. It'll cost two. But we want this for sure. What's in our food tray? Need cards. We can trade an egg for a card. Yeah, that's the right one to do. You need to think about. Choose two cards American Oyster Catcher and a yellow headed black. That's useful. Oh now. Okay. I need two mice. Two uh We can re-roll, so that's fine. And we can get rid of one as well. Oh, which do I want? Two mice or two birds? This is a good idea. If I play this, then I get to draw cards. I get two cards. So I need two worms. Oyster catcher. These birds feed not just on oysters and shellfish, but also other invertebrates. Okay. 
why they're so expensive. Okay, well they're not good for wingspan. <laughs> this is good for bowl. <laughs> Not for bowl, but for the nest. Cost three. Where are all the cheap birds? Well, I'll take this one. That's only two points. I thought I kicked the other one. Oh yeah, go a log ahead shriek. Yes. So this one can go in the water, but I'm gonna need a bug and a berry. Well I've got four turns. Bug and a berry. Get rid of that. Okay. Take the bug. Reroll. We take the berry. That doesn't trigger. That is the only problem. Oh, I gained something. Nice. Let's get... Three turns left. Cool. Let's... You've laid eggs. Good for you. That's going to cost me an egg. I want to keep eggs in... I need to keep the eggs in the stars or the nests. You're a star, so you get to keep yours. You're not. Northern you Mockingbird. A male mockingbird may learn around 200 songs throughout its life. Okay. Two turns left. I really need some more cards, don't I? Wait down for a third. Our food is severely hampered. Still no cheapies here. And we can trade an egg for an extra card. Days. Okay, let's trade in. Oh my god, why are they all so expensive? Where are the ones? Eve Louise, that was not good. Oh, yes, I get to repeat its power. Oh, I don't get to do it. That's dumb. No, that wasn't a very good combo thinking about that, was it? <sighs> okay, so we've got a grain. None of those are the nests we want. Brilliant. We currently have one egg. I really want to play something. 
need food. Got fish and bugs. If this bird is to the right of all other birds in a, its habitat, move it to another habitat. That was a useful. Mm, this is worth more points. Got a bug. A grain. Don't really like this. I have a grain and a bug. I can play you. Yellow-billed cuckoo. Yellow-billed cuckoos lay their eggs in other birds' nests when food is abundant. Of course you've gained food. I don't have any food for bonus eggs, that's annoying. I can't play anyway because I still need eggs. I know that's what I wanted it for. Sure. I need star nests. for that extra egg.
rigs you got? Oh, three. That combo's with nothing. That combo's with not a lot. Ah, <sighs> I don't really know. Does it make a difference? It gives me more eggs. Buick's Wren. These wrens have largely disappeared in the eastern part of their range due to nest predators. Nice. I don't really know what I want, so I'll take the grain. Last turn, well let's lay three eggs. This bird lays one on another within the nest. Yes! That will count. Boom. Multiples count, right? Two, three. Okay, the ball wicks ran. Nice actually, because we can move it up to the food. Yes. Roll that dice. No mice. Ha! <laughs> Roll that dice for no mice. Crushed. Eat them eggs. Okay, for five cents left. Draw some cards. Oh, I like this. We can do this. Oh, yes. Oh, what do I want? No, no fish. Oh, I'll take a berry. I can play that dude up there. Nice. How about you have an egg? Sighted vireos flock with other birds that make noise if predators are around. Oh no! I did not think about that. Oh, well, anyway, they're too hard to set up. That was silly. What do we need? Well, we need this. Cool, well, I guess. Gain three food. Ah, uh, these have. I want this. Eat a worm. Well, I don't need a worm. Good for eggs. Hands left. I play this. Have an egg. 
Sprague's Pippin. This rare bird's mating display can last for over an hour. So I can have birds with a predator power. Two points for bird. What one? I don't like two. Oh no, that doesn't count. Birds with geography terms in their names. Okay. We've only got one more turn after this, so I guess we take this one because it's three points at the moment. Cool. Else. One turn left. Thank you. Man, this card is great. Well, there's. Um, I can lay three eggs. Gets me five. Oh, I don't have this. That doesn't work. This didn't work, did it? So I can play this. <laughs> Gives me five points. But it's going to cost me two eggs. Or... And none of this works. That would only cost me one egg. I don't need to play it. To just make three eggs. Oh my! Jeez. We have not hit off that. Boom! You got crushed. Has he got better birds than me? Oh, we did. as well. And top cards. Oh shit, now that was closer than I thought. Did I not have top oh we had five top cards. Yeah. Got three off that bonus card. End of round goals I crushed him. He had five top cards. Okay. Sure. We'll save it. So what's Automa? I like red. What are my bonus cards? Ecologist. Birds in your habitat with the fewest birds. Uh, birds in your habitat with them. Okay, so you want lots of birds. Birds with colours in their names. Cards include ash black blah 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 okay. That's probably doable. That would give me like four points. I reckon, based on the last one. We get five things. This is a big pointer, isn't it? Common Grackle, Crusade Spoonbill, 
Melted Kingfisher. Maybe that's good. So if I take a Kingfisher, I need a fish. I could take a grain. The star is good. Oh, and eggs in. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want you. And it's, well, basically all the areas, isn't it? So you're definitely a good star. Flexibility. Let's start with you. Belted Kingfisher. The Kingfisher burrow can go up to six feet into a riverbank and slopes to shed water. What? How does this work? I don't understand. Who say other players? Lay eggs. Check end of round goals in your score. Yeah, no doubt. Does that mean I just can't see what it does? I have no other focus what that does. Well, let's just play the game. I don't really understand what the automat is different from. So we played that deed. I need some FUD. So we can get this. What? So you just show me what he's doing.
blue-winged warbler. This warbler especially likes to nest on the edges between forest and fields. Okay, we need cards or eggs. The eggs. We need eggs and water. We're gonna take them, so. Oh, we star as well, we do want that, okay. Sure, let's do this. And this, 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 two cards. Barn swallow. Random? Double this up there. That would be useful. You are taking that. What? you action. And the three face up cards on the bird tray pick up all that meet the bonus. For these cards the automat will keep one card with the highest point value. If there are multiple cards of the same highest point value it makes no difference which one it needs. Place it face up in the supply and discard the rest. Face up birds are worth their stated point value at the end of game. No birds meet the requirement. Draw face down card and place it face down. I like three turns left. This is a I get rid of this. Oh, I can't. Okay, we can't do that. We got grub. Good. We can play this. left. A 
magnesium ore to count for that, so I need beds in forest. This is just like some super guy. I'm sure I'm ready to face this guy. So we can go here. Savannah Sparrow. This sparrow is named after both Savannah, Georgia and Sandwich Sound, Alaska. Barn swallow. Barn swallows once nested in caves, but now favor human made structures. And I need some more cuts. Turns left, cool, right, let's get you out. Yeah. Will it will its feed during the day and the night? Six eggs. Have you got six eggs in the water? We got three tens left. Three and it costs three. That's ridiculous. Okay. Two turns left.
Two turns. Fish. Yes, thank you. Oh, I have to gain eggs. I want them in here. And then in here. Forest and eggs in the thingy. Let's take one of these. A song sparrow, that's good. Um, Am I on? 33. Don't give anywhere near him, am I? Are you on? 46. I really don't understand how this thing works. Okay, so I want birds in the forest. I need. I've got eggs, I've got cards, I need food. Actually, I can play this with the two fish, can't I? Eggs in the f thing, so we'll start using your eggs. Song sparrow. When resources are abundant, song sparrows can rear four clutches of eggs. Sure, just keep racking up them points. Okay, now I can at least get two food. No, does it? Well, then you're gonna move. It's annoying. So I need to play this, don't I? Well, I don't have much choice. So if I move it here, then I get egg laying plus extra egg. Move it here, egg for extra card. Guess I move it. Four turns left, right. Oh. This is so good. I think. So, what if I do this?
back up here so I can get two food. Do you want to get rid of this? I can play this next turn. I really want to play this as well. Not that I actually know how many of those I have. Yeah, but... Okay, this is quite a way. I don't actually know how many of these we have. No. One. Two. We'll tuck you. This is better to have a bonus point. Okay, this is easy. Nice. Three turns left. play this now. points. A bit absurd. Okay. That's fine. I want eggs there, so we're losing your eggs. California quail. California quail nests have been reported with as many as 28 eggs. You need any points up there? No, oh, thank you. I will definitely gain that fish. You go uh, I need to spend one from you. Red breasted nuthatch. These birds put resin around their nest opening to keep out attackers. You had five in there. Oh, why did I even try? So now we want eggs in the field. I don't have any cards. I could trade this. No one wants the fish. You can move back up to here. I don't have one. in the habitat. Yeah, uh, I've only used one die. What's down here? Yeah, 
berries, grubs, and shiz. Okay. I need to draw a card, so we'll move you down here. Yep, cash that. Lay an egg. Yes. Combo! Ugh, 78. Three turns left. Okay. Then sack an egg. Get an extra card. Attack this. Oh, we got three grubs. I could do this. Oh, that's forest. That does double forest. Oh, look at this guy. If I move him here, I can only put one more in there. So you're going to have to go to... No fish. Two rounds left. Gained a fish. Don't know if it will help. gives me five points. Honestly not a lot different. I don't want to lose him. Yeah, I think you stay here, right? Like other swallows, these birds forage in large groups and open areas. I think we definitely still lost this. Whatever it is he's doing. Lay four eggs. Sure, well I can tuck this. Cool as he looks. Towie, Towie. Um, sure, doesn't really make. Oh, hang on, a oh, wingspan, no chance. Alright, you can go in there. Whoa. That's good. Discard a grain to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird. That's pretty really sweet. How's that egg count? Crushed. Uh, uh, uh. I don't even know how this works. We definitely lost this one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because uh. Oh, 
Well done. Alright, let's do... where we are. Let's do one more. Let's do with some more. No way. Let's spice it up. Let's have five. This could get crazy with triggers. Is that me? Okay, so we've got birds with those nests with eggs in them. That's a tall order. Then eggs in water, eggs in bowls, and eggs in. Das Bush. Okay. So this. Ah, I've only got one grub. They want water. What's this? Oh, Jesus, all organized. Oh, we're going to take this bonus card. Because I can't get rid of a bonus card, so I might as well keep it. Do I play first, this or this? No, I can't play this. Oh, nice one, Zach. Everyone chooses birds. Okay. Yes. Anything actually, if I have five people, they're going to take longer. Four other people, even if they are R A I. Cool. Everyone played one. Eat a grub. Give me a grub. Ah, keep it. Good. Uh, 
and you pay the chickadee, but... Laid eggs at you. Black-necked stilts. When not breeding, stilts form closely packed groups and will mob predators. Well, it. Oh, we need that for this. And that counts for that. They're all waters, aren't they? Right, there's a widow who takes one. Oh, he's Do I want this? Yeah, because the link can only hold one. Okay. So... Fish for my will it. Nice. Oh, hang on, I haven't got the eggs, have I? Cannot play it without an egg. Okay. You hold two. I'm gonna have to take two eggs. But at least I can play my will it now. I want some of those trigger things. Predatory trigger. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, what do I want? I'm gonna take three. Wait, you wanna put the work in and give me free food? I like that. So you guys are supposed to be normal. You seem to be doing a lot more than what turns left. You've laid eggs. You've laid eggs. You've drawn birds. You've gained food. Sure. Need eggs in here. Oh yeah, that's the difference. Okay, so I definitely need more will it. For that. This is still oh no, I've only got the two. That would be a really good combo to do now. Because you... Oh, I've got three in there, haven't I? Two on the outside. You've drawn birds. I've got two grains. I just need a grub then, actually, don't I? Two grains and a grub. Although we can get rid of this. Two grains and a grub. I'll take that grub. I'll take that. So we can play this here. Oh, thanks. A wood duck. Or two. If you do discard one. So where do I want to put this? Ideally here, so I get two food. If I put it here, then I can... Oh, actually I can get extra eggs with food. That sounds better. Because I need eggs for all of this, so I should really start. And I get extra eggs when I lay that. I like that. Oh no, we've only got one. Was that the last turn? Have we failed this? Have I miscalculated? 
a 110 left. You've drawn birds. So, you don't count. You do count. Last turn, do this. You can trade in the grey. You want one. You want one. You want one. They want on the current bird, yep. Sweet! Combo! I want. I guess I'll take a grey. Oh, thanks, Eastern Phoebe. How many draw a card? See, I love all these people giving me cards. A white faced ibis. About eight. I need a fish and two grubs. Interesting. Any other bonuses? How did I do? Stonked, yes. Oh, they got no points, unlucky. I'm still good for this as well. I like it. These two, I'm not so. That can all change. You've drawn birds. How many dice are in my thing? Or you are that. Only gets me two. Although I can swap one. To get me another food. So I've got a grub and a grain. I need a fish and a grub. Neither of those nests can. Uh, so I'm going to take the ibis. Got a grub and a grain. So I need a fish and a grub. Yes. Blue Jay was a good shout. Early play. Give me some FUD to do stuffs with. Sure, I'll choose a grub. Six left. Hey, extra grub. Get some food. This is going to cost me an egg. So I need eggs in water. So I'm going to get rid of you. You I can get rid of. You don't have an egg. We will need stuff on you later though. White-faced ibis. White-faced ibises nest in colonies with herons and egrets. This is a tail fire catcher, northern cardinal. You've laid eggs. A bit of bird, a great horned owl. Got three in there, there's two out. I really need something in here, don't I? I need to draw some cards. Five turns left. Yeah, because I can trade an egg for a card. Let's get rid of you. Three cards. I need stuff up there. Well, I can play this. And it's the right nest type. Good. I can't like this. Ooh. 
stack it with shit cards. Ah, uh, no fish. I swear we haven't hit any of these. Dodgy dice. We got stacked for the forest, but then that's good for food, right? These take two. Four turns left. I really should do. Yay, thanks. You start churning out some. Just like what's better? Sure, I like giving people. That's extra, that's just points. Oh, I need spend eggs. I know you're all out of eggs. Juniper Titmouse. These little birds make it through winter by storing seeds. for eggs. I need eggs in bowls, eggs in the water. But that's fine because we've got spare bugs, haven't we? So we can do that, that, bug, go. Triple egg on water and lay an extra egg. Boom. Extra bug. I do need the bowl. I, st I think I'm still one egg. I'm still one egg. Yeah, that's fine. This bad boy's got one left. Red crossbill. These birds use their specialized bills to pry apart conifer seed cones. Good to know. Oh, what do I want? I guess I'll take a green. Maybe I should take a berry. One turn left. Everyone gets scrub. You've laid eggs. You've drawn birds. You've laid eggs. So the eggs in bowls. No, I need more cards, don't I? Wait, I bet the bird feeders balls. No, bird feeders in a good position. There's three dice on the outside. We can get some good bonus if we draw some cards. How are we here? We're just winning, but I don't think we can get any more. Can we get any more? No. Oh, we can get one more. Okay. Uh, sure. Do this. Grub. Done. 
need one in the water. Next one is bowls. So I guess that's these guys. They on current. Good. It's a nice little engine I can use. I can use the one that he gains every time I play it to help play for my stuff while I do these goals. And eventually, actually, I can leave them. I can start stealing the water ones now and move using those. And when I make eggs, I go into the bowls. Ah, oh, thanks. A free black vulture. Yeah. This is good. This is better early, but this is... I take this mid-game. Sound like I know what I'm talking about. Five bonus points. Thank you, Candler. We are not winning this one at the moment. Yes, I'll get you the rub. No, I should get the rub. I'm use the same bird feeder. Do I gain a grub? I gain a grub. So I don't need them in water anymore, so I'm quite happy to play the eggs. Uh, neither of these can. This sounds great in a five player game. Sure, let's start taking the fish. Oh, I'm mean, saying that doesn't trigger off my predators. She's a food from the bird feeder. Alright, well, let's take a berry because we don't have a berry. We're going to get some cards soon, so. Give this a little bit of flexibility because we need to start popping the stuff in the old bush. The eggy bush. Gain a grub. Draw a card. Oh, a great egret. I need some mice. Oh man, that would be a great double, wouldn't it? Okay, what am I doing on this turn? I need stuff on here. What's the bird feeder look like? It's three on the outside, so that's great for triggering this. And we can trade an egg to get a third card. And you can lose an egg, can't you? I get three, so I need stuff in the middle. That's good. fish. We got one, finally. Give me another one. Yeah, we got two fish. Ah, black skimmer. Bell zero. Where are we at? Four turns left. We need eggs in the bowls. Where are the bells? Oh, we need to play these guys actually, don't we? Our bells are all up here. So, actually I could do this. Oh, actually, I probably want that guy in first, don't I? Oh, 
getting grubs, I'm not using them. Spend the water. Okay. Brown headed cowbird. Cowbirds do not make nests, they lay their eggs in other birds' nests. That's quite good in a five player game. What do I want? Uh, we want fish now. Try and get some of these big boys out. Ah, no, we wanted crane, didn't we? Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Our vultures in. Give me grain. Sweet. Uh, okay, they're up here, aren't they? You get one. There's our bug. Cool. So let's play the Ink and Dove. Ka. Oh, where am I? No, hang on, wait. That gets me three, that gets me four. Oh, no, the A. That's each one of those, so when I play it, they're not going to get any. One goes there. I only get one bonus egg. I feel like I should put one of these guys out. I've got two fish. Oh wait, can I can I combo this with the... Ah, oh, that's too expensive. Hang on. Two fish and a mouse. Say two fish. And the two grain. That leaves me two randoms. No, I don't have enough of this yet. How many turns have I got? Three. I think we just have to suck it up and lose this. Because this would be great having these both out. But I can't afford to put this out yet. Maybe next turn I can do it. I only got three turns. I need to do some egg laying. I'll get some supplies next time. So I might have enough to do both of these next turn. So do I do the eggs now? Yeah. I want eggs in bowls. Oh, hang on. That's no good because I don't have any other bowl stuff. I'm going to lose them. I don't want to make eggs, do I? It is a bit annoying. Okay, yeah, we will. That's fine. I don't want this actually. going to activate at least once, right? So that bowl's full, that one's here. Someone else in the next two, three turns is definitely going to lay eggs, and I can put this one on that one up top. So let's just stick all three in here. And lay a current one. There we go, so I knew that would trigger. You can go on here. Everyone gets a worm. Everyone gets a worm. Now we can do both, I think. One. So six is enough for that. And that, and that. Yeah, we do. Legit. Is it me?
Yep. Uh, I don't need these. Great egret. Smaller birds will sometimes follow after great egrets as they stir up prey. Yep. Need to spend two eggs. Oh, do I risk it? Massively losing, so although I have four, I better not. Uh, no, oh, yeah, I want this. Stork. The wood stork was removed from the U.S. endangered species list in 2014. Yes, look at this. Bonus eight points. Boom. Take this. I don't know if there's another turn or not. No, there is, yeah. Ah, that is a shame. So I've got birds. I need food. Oh, I can play this. Free food, did they, the bastards? So do I play this? No, maybe we just do this and get three. Yeah, because I don't want to throw away a card to get another food. So I need. One of these. Let's re roll and get a bit of. Oh dear. Uh, oh, I don't know if I want fish. I don't want grub either. Uh, I might want grub. Yep, yeah, everyone gain one, I'll gain one. Oh, I didn't. Well, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Well, now I can spend these ones. Oh, I got a second. Three points. Time for the mad rush. For the middle. Five turns. Ah, that's the most irritating. You played eggs. Now I can start feeding off these guys because they should refill once per turn. This bird likes human settlements and is expanding its range north. Nice. So we got three. Oh, it gives itself. That's so good. Can I see these bad boys got them? All three of those got them. And then Kadav. Now we get to draw cards. Sweet. 
What are we looking in here? Yeah, good. I get to replace this on here. And I gain a worm. Uh, we can hold quite a few here, actually, can't we? Any bird with its in its name? I have any. This is good, though. Four turns. I only have four in there, but we can easily up that. So we want stuff for the middle. get it replaced. Four cards, so I need for the middle. Which is good egg holding. No, no, you. Then I take this. fish. Got a fish. Oh, what do I want? I've got two grubs. Which one was I going to play this? Need a grain. turns left. Yeah. Oh, these are stars as well. This is good. I know. This one. Okay. What do we play? Dickinson wrote poems about these birds as rowdy choristers in her Church of Nature. Nice, we get four there. That's sweet. We gain four eggs here. Hey, the seed. Two turns left. Eggs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know what I want. Take a seed. There's two turns left, so I think if I play this. Now I get to activate. Good. Yeah, oh, we got one turn left. Now do we look? We 
you have to try and combo this off. Let's check first. No one is full, right? This triggers. How many times does this trigger? That will only trigger once. Okay, so that's fine. Baird Sparrow. Spencer Baird was the first curator of the Smithsonian. Oh, plus Baird Sparrow gets us two points. Uh, do I want a rat? Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Take a bug. As long as I have a food. Activate yourself. That's when. Oh, these are when played, aren't they? Yes. Uh, that's any bird. I get five. One. So you get one, and you get one. This is really bad, is it? These are only when played. that enough. Oh, we didn't check our opponent's board, did we? What have you got? Again. Have a fish. We can look afterwards, can't we, actually? Extra egg. Okay, so I need to be me. Cheeky! Cheeky. Caught up with him. Almost. Oh, mate. I didn't check their nest types. I don't think there was any bowls. Oh. Alright there, uh, yellow. You're good there. You got the most eggs. 29. Ah, uh, we crushed it. Free for our. <laughs> uh, let's see what everyone else said. Uh, this is me. What did Puffin have? Look at this. Chickadee. Screech Owl. Get the mice. And a Mississippi Kite. Oh, jeez, man. A king's bird. That's cool. You also had warning dove. Yeah, solid. Scissor tail flycatcher. Nice. That hawk's cool. Yeah, you didn't have much in the water, did you? That's good. Heron falcon, sure. What did green have? Green heron. That's useful. Okay. You stacked yours as well. Better than me. Oh, 
coming bad. That's quite good early on. And it's hummingbird. Okay. You don't have much there, did you? Oh, a card along gets you berries. Carolina Wren. You only had two at the top. No wonder you did rubbish. How are you getting food? Okay, are these mine? No, these are his. Man, look how many cards you got, dude. Um, I never got any berries. Did you not gain any food or something, dude? Oh man, that's a three as well. You must have played that late. Fish crow, you played early. Kestrel, oh, man, you were all about the mice. Oh, you filled out there, didn't you? DJ you played one in the water. Yeah, you tried. Alright. Magpie's a bit late to play that. Yeah. Yeah, see you guys in. You came with yeah, you. Yeah, that was really close. Alrighty. Well, that was quite enjoyable. I liked that. It was good fun. Um, so yeah, I might stream that again tomorrow, actually. Should be on earlier tomorrow. After tomorrow evening. But, yeah. That is Wingspan. It's very chilled and relaxed. I like the concept. It seems a lot to take in at first. Going through that tutorial took a long time. But it all kind of makes sense. And then I think after you've heard, I, don't, I still don't know what that auto money thing is. I'll have to look that up. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's like some sort of boss thing that has like a set amount of goals to get it the bonus points. But like, you did very, very well against him. Maybe a few more games we get to know the cards. Might help. But yes, uh, that'll do for tonight, on Wingspan anyway. Um, if you haven't already, uh, hit that follow button on Twitch. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash acidic underscore virus underscore. You can also check out my YouTube page. All my previous streams are uploaded on there. Uh, if you just search for acidic underscore virus, you will find me. Uh, we have got, I'll stick the Wingspan up. At the moment we have got uh, The Longing, I'm uploading at the moment. Uh, we have got a full playthrough of Cuphead that we recently finished, that's up there. We've got a full playthrough of Cook Set Delicious 3 with all the medals and achievements. We've got Ori and the Blind Forest playthrough. We've got three or four runs through Change, Home Simulation, Survival Experience. Uh, yeah, it's quite a quirky mix of games, but check it out. Wingspan, I'll get up there within the next day or so. Uh, and I'm off all week anyway, so I'll be streaming every night. A couple of afternoons and mornings as well, depending on my real life schedule. So there's not a lot I can do in lockdown at the moment, so yeah, just playing games. But yeah, uh, City underscore Virus, search for that on YouTube to find that page, subscribe to it, and it'll let you know when I stick a new video up there. And twitch.tv forward slash acidic underscore virus underscore you can watch me play live thank you very much have a good night morning whatever it is wherever you are and i'll see you people tomorrow